Hi fam, I'm Nike trainer Tara Nicholas, and this is Renew Year with Well and Good. So what we have now is a mobility and meditation session. It's exactly how it sounds. We're gonna stretch a little bit. You're gonna let your body just feel a sense of release to help you recover. And you get to use this for however you need it, whether it's at the end of a workout or whether it's just something you wanna do because you wanna feel good. All right, so let's start with a child's pose. Go ahead and get into a position that feels good to you. You widen the knees as much as you need. You walk your fingertips out. Take a big inhale here and exhale, walking your hands away, letting your forehead rest on your mat. Deep inhale here and exhale. Maybe the fingertips can walk away ever so slightly further away. And then from here, walk your hands over to a left diagonal. And then use your exhale to deepen the stretch. So I have a sensation of anchoring my pelvis down as my fingertips walk away from me on this left diagonal, feeling the stretch in my right ribs. <sighs> Letting go. And then walk your hands over to the right diagonal. Big inhale here and exhale. Let that exhale really allow you to open up and melt. Really finding a comfortable position here. Letting the stretch kind of take you over. Letting that exhale help you open up. And then walking your hands back center, rolling through the spine, coming into a tabletop position for just a moment, and we'll have a cat cow. So you get to decide if you want your feet flat or if you want the toes tucked here. And from here, just nice and easy, using your exhale to bring you back towards the floor. Just taking these nice, slow cat cows. And if it feels good, you can even allow yourself a little free movement. So maybe you take some circles. I know sometimes circles can feel a little like, what, what do you mean? So if anything, you can think of it like your head kind of reaches for the bum or the other way. Just really getting some movement here. You don't have to overthink it, just exploring. Just letting your breath kind of guide you. Good. And then from here, we're gonna come into a T-spine opener. You'll have your hand behind your head. You'll open and close. If you haven't already, you can join me. Good. If you've taken some of my other classes, you know I love T-spine openers. But again, it's because it's an area of the body that just gets neglected and it's hard to get to. Beautiful. Using your inhale to open up. Exhale to close. One more. Good, other side, same thing, nice. Just opening and closing, nice. Notice how things feel as you transition from one side to the other. Everything we're gonna do here, we're learning to approach it with this childlike curiosity, this playfulness, right? To kind of enjoy the exploration of our movement rather than judging our movement. Good, let that go. From here, we're gonna do adductor rocks. So you're gonna extend your right leg, keep the back toes of your left foot tucked, and you're rocking back and front, just like this at the halfway mark. I'll give you an option to do some circles. Good, so just rock it back and front, beautiful. And then again, check in with your breath. Probably starting to feel a really deep stretch in the inner thigh, in the hips, yeah? Just taking your time here. Good. And then from here, we're gonna take some circles. It's totally optional, if it doesn't feel good. Just taking some circles, literally rocking in a circle and then you can reverse that circle. Just enjoying this exploration, this playfulness, and time. Nice. Same thing, we're gonna go to the other side. So now I extend my left leg, tuck my back toes on my right side, 
and I'm rocking. I'm observing how things feel in my body. If one side feels more accessible. And again, it's not because there's a good side, bad side. It's because we just want to learn if there's a side that maybe needs a little more love. Maybe one side needs a little more strength, a little more stretch, whatever it is. We want to get to know ourselves so that, yeah, we can go out and get the support we need, but we also have the tools to take care of ourselves. 10 more seconds here. Good. Checking into that breath. Three, two, one. Come back to all fours. And then from here, we're going to do a quadruped to down dog. So up to you if your knees are on the floor or if they hover and then you press into a down dog, your knees can stay bent and then they come back down. Let's go ahead and join me. Quadruped to down dog. If the hamstrings, calves feel a little tight, you can widen that stance a little bit. Remember, you can keep the knees bent as much as you need. And if it feels good, go ahead and fully extend, right? So your legs are nice and straight. You're pressing the floor away. Breathing. Big exhale as you press back. Big inhale as you come down. And then let that go. Nice. And then from here, you're going to get to lay on the floor. So watch me once as I explain this really yummy uh, chest opener. So you're going to lay flat. Your forehead is down. From here, I bring in my right hand. I bend my right knee. Now, my right hand is going to be what helps me adjust and move in this position. So just know that that right hand is in control. From here, I just gently start to roll. So I'm using my right hand to push, 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 and I can stop right here. If it's going well, I can keep going. But again, you go where you can keep breathing normally, right? Nothing you need to force. All right, so join me, set yourself up. Forehead is down, and we're gonna start right hand in, right knee bends, and start to roll behind you. Good, your head's on the ground. Good, and wherever you find your happy place, you hold. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth, feeling a stretch in that armpit, in your chest. I had a nice little pop in my spine. The good kind, don't be scared, I'm okay. Good, and then slowly control it back down, really control, and we go right to the other side. Left arm in, left knee bends. Slowly roll away from me. Good, find that happy place. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Keep it going. And then gently unfurl the position. Noticing how things feel from one side to the other without judgment, just loving observation. Good. All right, from here, bring yourself up, pass through all fours, and flip over. Don't be scared. We're not doing anything crazy. All right, so we have seated figure four. So we're going to start with my left heel over my right thigh. From here, I want to have a sensation like, um, like I'm really actively flexing this foot the whole time. And I want to feel like I'm pressing my heel into my thigh, my thigh into my heel as I do this. So you're creating that opposition. You know, I love a little opposition in a drill. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth, create that opposition. And as it's going well, you get closer to your body, right? Good, big inhale, lengthen out the spine. Be as long as you can be. My right foot is planted on the floor. Exhale, back off. Maybe you get a little closer. Inhale, open up, proud chest, nice long spine. Energy shooting out of the top of your head. Left foot is flexed. Inhale, back off. You have time for one more. Maybe you get a little closer. And lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And let that go. Other side, same thing, no big deal. So remember, I have energy shooting out of my right foot. I have that opposition of the heel pressing into thigh, thigh pressing into heel. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, back off, walk your hands in. And also, if you're in a happy place, you don't want to walk your hands in, you don't have to, right? Inhale, keep flexing through that right foot. I found mine trying to relax. 
and exhale back off. Beautiful. Walk your hands in a little more and do that again. Inhale, lengthen out the spine. Exhale back off and let that go. I'm spinning around just so you can see me a little better. You don't have to spin around. So we have a bound angle here. So your feet are gonna be together and your heels can either be further away or close. That's up to you with what feels good. Remember the, the priority here is what feels good. So you're gonna have your feet together and you're just gonna gently curl down towards them. Join me if you haven't already. And we're just taking our time, letting gravity take over. If it's going well, maybe you're able to walk your hands away from the body. Just noticing this opening starting to happen in the upper back. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling, lengthen out that position a little more. Again. Good. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and lengthen out the spine. Walk your hands back in. And now we're gonna extend our left leg. My right knee is bent. And I'm gonna reach towards that left foot. If for some reason hamstring's not happening, go ahead and bend, all right? So I'm reaching towards that left foot. Maybe I make it all the way to the ball of my foot, maybe I don't, but we have a position that we feel comfortable in. So once again, you're gonna curve the spine and exhale, lengthen out the spine. And again, inhale, curve the spine. Exhale, lengthen out. Good, last time. Inhale, maybe each time the leg gets a little straighter. And exhale, let yourself melt towards your leg as far as you can. Good, and walk your yourself up your leg and switch sides. Same thing. Good. So now we bend that right leg, reaching for those toes. Big inhale and exhale. Go ahead and let yourself melt towards the knees. Inhale, extend, exhale, melting down. Inhale, extend a little more, nice straight spine. You can give yourself a little foot massage while you do this and let that go. Last time, beautiful. Let that go. Now, we already have this right leg straight. Bring that left knee in, cross it over, give yourself a hug, and we're gonna rotate, all right? So go ahead and join me. Big inhale here as you sque squeeze that knee in, and then as you exhale, you'll start to rotate. And then do that again. Big inhale. Exhale, deep in the twist. Last time, inhale, exhale deep in the twist. Good, pass through center, same thing other side. So now my right knee's in my chest, I give it a squeeze, take a big inhale, and as I exhale, I twist. And again, big inhale, exhale deep in the twist. Last time, Exhale, deep in the twist. Beautiful. Now just find a comfortable seated position. You can face me. I'm gonna get on my knees. This is my comfortable seated position. I know, kind of weird. And from here, my right hand's gonna come to my left ear. I'm just gonna do a little neck stretch. Good, my left palm is up. And then you're gonna tilt your chin down and tilt your chin up again, tilt your chin down and tilt your chin up. Other side, same thing. Good, and just noticing differences from one side to the other. Tilt your chin down and tilt your chin up. Down and up. Good, interlace your fingertips behind you if you can. Just do a little chest opener. 
and back off. Little chest opener. And back off. Hands behind your head one more time. And just gently tilt your head down. Just gently pressing down in the back of the skull. And then bring it up towards the ceiling, tracking your spine by grabbing the base of your skull and just pull yourself up and back. Beautiful. All right, let that go. Now we're gonna transition into our meditation. So for this, you can truly be comfortable. So whether you're laying down or if you prefer to be seated, I want you to just relax. So this style of meditation is called Radiant Human Meditation. And the important thing is that it's a receptive practice. So I know there are so many different traditions of breath work. For this one, I just want you to feel like you are actually relaxed. So that means you can bring pillows or something under your knees. You can be in this supported position here with your knees bent. You can have your feet against the wall. You can get on your couch, all the options. So go ahead and lay down and find this comfortable position here. I'm gonna sit up because it's easier for me to keep talking. And you're comfortable. You're closing your eyes. You've made your choices on your cute little blankie, your binky, whatever feels good and you're starting to become aware of your senses. So just taking some deep inhales and exhales, becoming aware how your body feels, temperature, any sensations that come up. And like I've been saying in a lot of different ways, we're gonna approach everything with this childlike curiosity. So first we're gonna come into our gratitude practice. So bring into your awareness something that you feel gratitude for just start to make sense of that for yourself. It can be a beautiful sun coming in, a change of season, a person, a pet, just without overthinking it, just the first thing that comes into your awareness. And bring that sensation of gratitude into your heart. And if it helps you, you can even bring your hand to your heart, but you don't need to. And just taking a deep inhale, filling up your heart, letting it expand and a deep exhale, wringing out the heart like a sponge and just really feeling the sensation of gratitude radiating out into the physical body and beyond. And just taking that again, inhaling, filling up your heart, letting it expand. And exhaling, really radiating the sensation into the physical body and beyond it. And just taking that for a few more rounds at your own pace, observing everything that comes up. If you get a case of the fidgets, if you feel yourself dozing off to sleep, whatever it is, just observe it. There isn't anything that you can mess up. There isn't anything that you can undo. The intention of moving your breath in this direction is all that is needed. And you're observing, you're really freeing yourself to have the experience you're actually having. That's what people mean when they're saying it's time to be present. A gratitude practice gets you present. I'm just taking one more round here. And then on your next exhale, we're gonna bring our awareness to your belly button. And you don't have to change anything about your body. You're just shifting your awareness to your belly. And again, you have the option to touch your belly, but you don't need to. And from here, you're gonna take a deep inhale, filling up your belly, letting it expand. And a deep exhale, feeling the belly empty out. And taking that again, deep inhale, feeling the belly expand. Deep exhale, feeling it empty out. And taking one more like that, inhaling. And exhaling. And we'll deepen the breath even more here. So when you're ready, we're gonna count to three internally together. So you'll inhale for one, two, three. Hold your breath, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Hold your breath, one, two, three. Again, inhaling two, 
three, hold your breath. One, two, three, exhale. One, two, three, hold your breath. One, two, three. Taking that again and holding on to that rhythm for yourself. And as you do, really feeling the rib cage expand side to side, front and back, feeling that space throughout the body, observing what comes up. Again, this childlike curiosity where there isn't anything that we need to perfect. There isn't a specific experience we need to be having. The experience you're having is exactly right. And after you get to that next exhale, you can let go of that visualization of breathing into your belly and just take a moment to observe how things feel, whatever surface you're on, noticing if you can surrender to it a little more. And then we'll transition, bringing our awareness to the soles of the feet. And so again, there isn't anything you need to change about your body, just be aware of the soles of the feet for a moment. And what I'm doing throughout this meditation is bringing our awareness to different energy portals of the body that can just get out of balance very easily in times of stress, in times of dis-ease. So from here, we're gonna take a deep inhale through the soles of the feet, sweeping the breath the entire length of our body all the way up to the top of the head. And then exhaling from the top of the head back down and out through the soles of the feet. And just doing that again, inhaling, letting the breath be like a virtual comb, sweeping all the way up. And then exhaling, you can even exaggerate that exhale, releasing any tension, detoxifying the system, just releasing it out through the soles of the feet for the earth to receive. We're gonna take two more rounds of this breath. You're taking it at your own pace, using your inhale, to really allow you to bring in more of what supports you, more of what feels in alignment. And then you can exaggerate your exhale to release stress, any entanglements, really moving your breath through any, any stagnant areas, any parts of the body that can get stuck in any habituated patterns that aren't serving you. And then next time you come back to the soles of the feet, we're gonna go just a little faster. So we're gonna sweep our breath from feet to head fast, inhaling up, exhale down. Inhaling up, exhale down, three more. Last one. Coming back to the soles of the feet and now taking a sticky molasses-like texture of a breath, we're gonna sweep our breath again in the same direction, nice and slow. Inhaling through the soles of the feet, making your way all the way up to the top of the head as slow as you can. And then when you're ready, exhaling. Again, you can even exaggerate that exhale, even with the slow pace. Really flushing out anything that isn't serving you through the soles of the feet. Just taking that one more time for yourself. And so wherever you are, just coming in to that next exhale without feeling rushed. And whenever you feel like that's come to a completion, we'll bring our awareness back to our heart. Bring in that sensation of gratitude once again. It can be something different or the same that you were working with earlier. And just bring that sensation of gratitude into your heart. Once again, inhaling into your heart and exhaling, really wringing out the heart like a sponge, feeling this gratitude radiate out into the physical body and beyond. And just taking this heart breath for a few more rounds on your own. And just take a moment here to really bask in all that you've created. Take a moment to congratulate yourself for making time for your self-care, for showing up. I am here to support you, but you are the one doing the work. You are the one exploring and finding your own entry point to your self-healing. So really be proud of yourself. 
And from here, we'll bring the hands together, rubbing them together, generating a little bit of heat. And if you're not ready to move, you don't need to. And bringing the hands to the face like little cups, feeling that warmth, that heart energy moving from the heart into the arms, into the hands, into the eyes. Letting that turn into little pats, just helping you ground back into your body. Little pats on the face, on the chest, arms, belly, wherever you need it, wherever you want it, legs. Maybe that turns into some gentle stretching. And then when you're ready, just slowly, gently fluttering the eyes open. <sighs> really beautiful work. It is such an honor to get to do this with you, to share space with you. Let us know how you're feeling. Leave a comment, slide in my DM, whatever feels more authentic to you. Please subscribe to this Well and Good channel. Once again, I'm Nike trainer Tara Nicholas. Thank you. See you soon.